Well hi guys, so MC Smith here and today we're going to do a full tutorial on a spider spawner, basically a cave spider spawner. And we're going to do a full tutorial on how to build this particular spider spawner which is over there, sending the spiders through to the far side, then building the single staircase or, or water case up to this point where, or something similar to this, it won't be identical, where we can uh, kill the spiders and also stand <coughs> next to the other two spawners here. You, so what you've got to think about is each time you find a spider spawner you need to consider how that actually works. So we've got over here we've got an identical setup how it was uh, originally and the spider spawner is fully lit so no spy case spiders can uh, spawn and we've got to remember that if they do spawn they will bite you and now in 1.5 this is in 1307a but in 1.5 they will also damage your health like a witch i.e. they will poison you so you get too many bites so what I've got to do is I'm going to go and have a go at tutorial this as if it was in uh, survival and how you would go about setting it off in terms of finishing it up and then letting the uh, spider spawn. So what I'm going to do, first of all, I'm going to seal it up and then we're going to start from the inside and do the uh, full tutorial. You've got to be in a position where, before you start, you've got to be able to dig the room out. It's 9 by 9 Mark the centre here out, where you've got the spawn in the centre and you've got 1, 2, 3, 4 blocks that way and 4 blocks that way and also four blocks that way. There are, you can do a couple of permutations on the water I understand but this one I'm going to show you the water how I've done it and then we're going to take the spiders through here and then we're going to build the staircase uh, water staircase and it's a single one for cave spiders cave spiders are far smaller than normal spiders so here we go I'm just going to seal up this wall first and then we shall start so first thing you must think about is lighting. You've got to think your escape route. What I've got up here is I'm going to put a little bit of a walkway. I'll put one block. But I need to be able to come out and turn these. Well, basically get rid of these. We'll leave some lighting up in this corner, this corner, and I think this corner as well. So what I'll do for this is just put a, a bit of light up there for now. You would do this before. Just to try and stop the spiders, because in the end you're going to have to get out of here. Uh, the water will be in, you have to get out of here and find an escape route after you have developed the waterway up to here. So let's start. I've blocked it up, leave that there. First things first, and uh, you're going to need uh, basically some stairways. Uh, so we're going to need a load of stone stairways to start with and I'll leave those in there we shouldn't have to go back to there so and we're going to walk around so first things first at the back wall over here you're going to have to put a set of steps along the back wall this is to aid as you will see the water so you just put the steps in like that so you'll leave now on this particular design you'll leave three clear blocks next what you need is some signs and don't go on to steps the easiest way is don't go on to steps but the first thing you do is click the signs and you just click clipping signs. Simple as that. I'm not putting, I don't know why I'm putting letters on, but there we go, who cares? So this is simple design and one more sign. So you'll have the signs across there like that. Now let me show you why that is. I have two buckets of water. If I put water in this corner, this is what happens. Water sails to the middle. If I then put water in this corner, the water sails to the middle. So literally that's your central point. Any spiders that come over here will go into that point. So there you go. Water, quite happy. You can go through this and the water, look what happens, you get sent down to here. Let's put this back, come back out. So how do we get the water uh, to come down there? So what we'll do is let me just what I'll do is take that away a minute. So put in the corner, put a block. I'm just showing you. Get rid of that, so that water will go. Right. So with two blocks, you put water in the corner. 
and this is what will happen and what you need to do is you need to bring the water across so what will happen is you put a second one in there then you can use the infinite water source and then put the next one next one and next one next one and you bring the water on this particular version bring water so the water now comes down to the steps there you go actually and the steps help you actually go on so what we have to think about is how I'm going to get rid of uh, some and let me get the, need to get rid of some of these torches. Uh, but I will be able to if I put a torch here, I'll be able to delete it if I break the holes. So I'm doing this as I go along, so you can see. And if I'm stuck, I'm going to get rid of that torch down there. Now bear in mind that it's going to be dark. So you can bring the stone out this side, but I'm not going to. I want to be able to click it. I could actually also make, in fact, what I can do is I'm going to do the same this side, which is put a block up there with torches, pre pray basically make it pre. By doing this, you can light the, and it will spawn. I've got this set to spawn. So if you delete any lights at this end, there'll still be enough light to stop the spider spawning. But be prepared. I think I'm going to leave that. There we go. Let's see. You might get a spawn up there, so we'll see what happens. Right, okay. So if you remember, what we did is you infinite water source. You need to put a water there. Look at what happens. The water runs up. And you need to come down this end. And you need to put infinite water source. So there you go. Whoosh. I am a spider. There we go. We're in. And we come to the end, not going very much further. So what we need to put in is on this particular model, you don't have to, but I'm going to put a step in. Uh, and we're going to use the same principle as I did last time, which is uh, put in a board. It's a bit tricky this, so let's just go back there. There. And then all we have to do is put a water source here so same thing let's go and test it now look I'm getting dragged in so it is a heck of a drag so let's just go and go back so I've left it open jump across so I'm a spider whoosh, and I get dragged very quickly away from the spawner. Now the point of that is the fact that you can then spawn uh, you literally spawn the spiders and they want to get away from the spawners because you can spawn as many spiders as you want. So next let's do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to their favourite and do because I need to okay so I'm taking the spiders away so I can I'm not going to build in stone here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put so what I'm going to use when I get to the end of the second uh, bit is I'm going to just uh, I'll just basically uh, drop it off the end. Now this one's the end of the water there, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just bring that out to stop it, put one that side and one that side, and then one more each side. So there you go, so there's the drop off. I'm going to use the same principle, put the step in on the last block there, and then basically from this point on, I'm going to use, uh, apart from this flat bit, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use uh, stone for the base and then I'm going to use glass, and I'll show you why. That's uh, uh, done there, that's done the wrong light, that's what you need to bring the water up. What I'm going to use now is glass. Glass is quite easy to come by. It's not going to take you much effort to get it. I'm going to put the block there, uh, basically. And then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to build out. So if you've got to come out. So we've got to, what we've got to do is run the water three out. So that's one at the moment. So that's one, two, three. And then you're going to need two third of a block. So that makes it a total of five. So this is going to be the base of the first section 
So we'll come back to that. We're going to use glass from this point onwards because I'm going to show you why glass in a second. But uh, it just makes it easier. So we're going to put water there, which is going to run this way, and I want to run it three. So that's one, two, three. So we're going to put a stopper in there uh, for this particular section. I'm going to put glass in. So you just have to do sand for this, so it's dead easy. I'm going to put glass in because A, I can see what's going on, and B, let me just show you what happens. So first, first one up. I will put a bucket of water. This is where you're going to need lots of bucket of water. So I'll put the first bucket of water and the water then runs. Now, what you need is the fence post. If I then put a fence post in glass, this is what happens. You get a single post. So let me just go back, block the water off. And then what happens if I put stone? If I build this in stone, I'll show you what happens. So we'll run the water again, as we did before. The spiders come up here, run in there. I then put a post in. It doesn't make a difference because I have tried it out and the spiders do work. You still a post, but you have these three legs off. It does work, I've tested it, but I'm going to use, for this particular model, you can, I'm going to use glass because it's just easier all around, to say the least. So let's put it back to like I had it. Right, okay, so I want to run the wall. And the other thing you need to think, consider now is, like I've done here, then you only need a single channel. These are single spiders, so you can block that all the way off. So no spiders are now going to come up above this point. So that's quite handy, because you can now watch the spiders. Uh, in fact, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a stone block there. And that's my, not my escape route now, so you can block that off. And what I'm going to do is let's put the... There you go, so you can actually watch the spiders now. In fact, what I'm going to do. So, single spiders and glass keeps them in from stopping them messing them out. So, let's put the water in again. So, crucial, one, two, three. The spiders come up there, and now what we're going to do is we need to do zigzag up to the floor level up here. So, the next piece is you build the next layer up, and you do this. You just build it up, cover. Uh, the trap door and then you cover the uh, first where, where you put place the block of water so I'll leave it like that and then literally you build around again this time now you're going to overlap and leave that block free uh, I remember I hadn't put the fence post in so let's put that fence post back in and now we're going to run the water across the fence post the opposite way. Crucial. So go back, sign, step, three, put the fence post into the right, and then run the water back the other way. And now all that happens is, all the way up, we crisscross the fence post back in. Oop, that's not the right one. Fence post at that level. There you go. So again, we've run it back and two, and the spiders will come up and down, up and down through the fence post. So next thing, next level. You just keep building up. Uh, oh, that one wants to be the other way, and now we want to cover this end. You'll get the gist of it. Uh, so there we go, and we just keep bringing the spiders back and two, back and two. So now I'm going to place the water. It's always water first. It runs across to the right. Place the post there. So now we're going to run the water across the post to the left. And this is the easy way to do it. So there we go. Let's build up, cover up that one there. We just keep doing that. So we're going to run this back across. Let me just get this right. So I'm going to run it past the post again. Across the post. Put another post on the opposite side where it runs to. And we just keep building up. I'll leave this free over here because it's just easier. So we just keep building up and you just keep going up. Uh, see edge of that. It doesn't actually take long before you're going to get up to the level. So, ah, I need to run across the other way. So let's block that off. So this is where I should have brought, brought the glass up. Continue to bring your glass up. And it should be, a, as you can see, six. The outer edge is always six. You just keep filling in left and right. So I'm going to bring the water in across. There we go, and fence post on that side. 
That's a box again. Six around the outside. So if you're doing you know, if you're doing glass, you can do stone. But you could each side you could do stone and glass. So I'm going to bring the water across. So I need to close that off this time. Um, and as if I keep repeating it, you'll get the gist. You just keep going back into. Water goes across. Go to the other side. Put the post in, and there we go. And then we put the all the way around again. And this time we're going to bring it across that way, so I need to close that end. Wherever you put the water, you close it off above. <laughs> bring it across. Post in. You always go by the side. So there we go again. So we put the water in over there, so it's six blocks. That one. So now we're going to bring it. How close? Oh, we're nearly there. So this is where we got to think about how we're going to run off the water. So we're going to do another one. Run it back. Fence post in. So we cover up the side that you put the water on. Now we're at the level here. So, now, if you remember, if you've seen the first video, you remember that these things bite. So I need a bit of space here to uh, bring those in. So now I'm going to bring the water back the other way for one more go. Let's see what happens. I might have to do two, actually. Uh, put the post in. So we're going to cover up this end. In fact, this is where... In fact, what would you consider putting there... Um, but for this particular exercise, I'm going to put glass. So I'm going to I'm going to take it one more level. I'd like to have some steps really for the spiders, or maybe. So let's go. The water comes that way. Need one more across. So let's do this. And this time the spiders will come out through a channel. So let's first of all put the water in. So the water's coming across. The spiders will come up. I will block the post off this side, so the only water will come out of this channel here. So I'm going to make them come out and then round and away from the water. So what I've got to do is, when I built this, I'm going to do this with glass because it's just easier to show it. As I say, glass is quite cheap stuff. Right, so the water is going to come out of here so let's just I'll just do this with glass now and so I want a channel now I can have it right next to that if I want or I can bring them out so I'm going to bring these out into this channel here so the idea is the spiders when this breaks the water will fall. How far will it go? Lovely jubbly. That's just gone quite nice that. Uh, what I'll just do is uh, light this up a minute at this corners because the fact I can light it all the way it just shows you because uh, I want I want to cover it actually I don't want the spiders coming out so let's cover it up and then put so cover 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 So here's the top. The spiders can't come out through glass as well. Glass is excellent stuff. So I'll put some light on this. Show some light up on this. Let's bring these spiders out. So we want to now when they come out, I'm going to cover them not with uh, not with glass, but with iron bars. You can once you get up here use stone, so it's quite happy. If you really prefer to use stone, that's quite happy. Uh, but cover, cover. Now what I'll do is I think I'll put some. Sorry, I'm going to put some iron bars in here. So let's just. And you have to play with this. I found that I had to go back and I had to. What I did is the one good thing about this is you could put, see, a block of water in straight away. So with this, if you find this channel isn't working, you can crack it and let the 
stop the spiders coming through so you can mess around with it without any hassle keep the spiders here I mean, you're not going to keep them there are you so let me just cover that up at the top and as I say I'll keep it bright so here we need some sort of thing where we can put uh, iron bars on so I'm gonna what I'll do is start it over here And get me iron bars, which are in my... Bang, bang. Turn it around the corner. Bang, bang. Right, remember these things bite. Uh, so bring it to there. So I want to stop them biting. So I put... St I put if you want to put, I'm going to put a big block in here. Just put this here because it's just easier to run the steps up each side. So I want to do that. I want to stop them coming out. So in this particular one, I use glass. That's wrong. I need to get rid of that. So I'm going to use glass, and that will stop them. So I can run along now and slash them. If you had stone all the way along here, you can slash them and kill them. No hassle. And that should stop you getting bitten, although you'll get bitten here, so be very careful. So, there's that. This is the basic design. Uh, so, what we're going to do now is head on back down and uh, basically uh, go for the full test now and see if it works. And we'll go downstairs and uh, we'll know in a few seconds whether it works or not. So, here we are at the uh, piece we built downstairs. And as you know, I've put glass in for now. Uh, quite happy that the spiders can't go through glass, so we'll have a bit of a a run to see now the trouble is you only get one shot of this so let's first of all uh, we need to get rid of and I still haven't got round here but uh, we need to get rid of the light on this side first so you just knock it out and the light goes seal it back up uh, and then you can knock it out light goes seal it back up pop over the wall now this is the most dangerous part because, uh, and I've left some, see there's a problem, I need to go back around there and knock the lights out. So I can kick them there, I can click that out, so let's just do that. That's the sort of thing you've got to think about because these things bite. Uh, so what I have to do is, uh, that's the wall, yeah, that's the wall. So you can come here, get rid of these lights here. Lock it off. This is least danger to you as possible. And when I first did this I had to be in the cave and there's, there's all sorts happened to me. So first things first we need to get rid of the light at the centre and then we can get rid of these last two. So this is where you're likely to get in a lot of trouble because once you get in there you're not going to get out. So what we need to do is and we leave the top one last and I want to step away from the uh, uh, I want to step away uh, oh, there you go, first spider spawning. The danger is one more. Oh, it's alright, not there. So, first spider spawning. Let's get rid of that. Let's get rid of that. Can I hit that? Yes, I can hit that. So, can I do one more? So, I've got that and that. So, let's just a bit. Click, click. Spider is spawning. That one's gone. One there, look. Have got any more? Just these now. So let's get out of here. What should you for? Do this one first. There's one gone. And then this one. So a load of spiders should be spawning, so you can check here. That will do. Oh, here's some more. Here we go. And you're safe as houses. 
and they're starting to go up. <laughs> so this look at them all, though. this design gives you a lot of room for manoeuvre in terms of they can carry on spawning. You can have you can get access to the spawn if something goes wrong. But you got to think about this before you go. Oh, they're there as well. Now this is the wrong way. Let's go around to my other side where I was standing up. Steps. So whichever way you access it, it's up to you. And the spiders are now here already. So I've got masses <laughs> of zombies while I've been while I've been building this. Let's just have a quick look how many have we got here. Really 20, 23, 23. So all right, we haven't built too many because it's only been this spawn that's been operating. In fact, this one isn't operating because, as you can see, this is still uh, that one's been allowed to work in this way. So here we go with the spiders. Let me just show you what happens again if you walk up to the front of them, uh, and you'll get bitten. In fact, no. Let me just uh, change back to. Uh, change that to survival. Let's watch what happened. Ow! That's what happened. Well, this didn't do. It last, what happened last night? Uh, I'm just making sure whether we're in 1407A. Is you got poisoned by these? Now I'm just getting bitten today. So yesterday I was actually getting poisoned by them when I got bitten at this stage. Anyway, so, and you can see that in the other video, so hey, that was not what I needed to do. You can see they have pack a heck of a powerful punch. In fact, I'm just going to go up there because... Oh. This is survival. This is what will happen. So you might have to do a bit more. All you have to do is play around with it. That was a heck of a whack. So, and they come towards you. But look, there you go. And when it's that's why you need stone up here. You can have glass for the main lift, but you just literally keep getting, and it's safe as houses. What I had in mind is, uh, I had like a collection pot here, uh, and what I did, what I did do with the last one, if I remember rightly. We just kill these. Now you see all the stuff collecting. Just need to. You get what you do get is funny, funny uh, glitches with the graphics. You get spiders coming up that actually aren't there. So what I need to do is I just need to just need to put in a gate there. So I can bring that a bit forward. Actually, let's bring it a bit forward more. This particular one, and the other problem you do you do get this happening, but invariably, then it will they'll all spring through, and what you might have to do is have the room open, so you can then there you go. See what happens is, you walk round and literally you move and literally then fill up your spawn area. So there you go. So it's always better to have a longer run up as well uh, with this. So there's your. Sp this version of the cave spider spawner and that was the long build to show you how to build a staircase up. Uh, it may be worth like I've done which is uh, when you know where you're going to build it have a go in creative have a practice and then you know how it's going to work so look and leave it open so you can walk around the spiders because once you walk around you'll find they all spring up and through because there's always whichever way you do it there's always a little bit of a collection point here so Hopefully, and that's it, what happens is. And then you can collect all the stuff. Uh, what I should do is put in another, another iron fence bit here. And then I can go down, collect all the gear, come back out again. So that's how it was so what I'm going to do in fact what I'll do is get rid of the step there and bring him out a bit further so 
So, get rid of that. In fact, what I'm going to do for that, I'll just cut back out and change the game mode back because I can do it anyway. But it's easier showing this. So, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, and then bring that across. So, there you go, it's a bigger, longer. So, again, you'll get the spiders to come through. There you go. You come over here, they'll come towards you. I've gone away from the spawner, remember, as well. So the idea is that when it's over here, when I'm standing over here, I get everything to spawn. I've got tons of zombies, tons of XP, and then I get the spider stuff. Remember, spiders give you wool. You can use these strands for wool, which then you can use for bartering. Ah, there you go. See, that's why you don't use. Uh, let me just lock that in so the spider doesn't get out. So let's see if I can get... Now that these two are here, let's change the game mode back. Let's see if what happens today. I'm not getting bitten today. That's quite interesting. Oh! There you go, I am getting bitten today. So... There you go, I'm going to leave it at that. There's the uh, sport, and there's more spiders coming up. In fact, I've gone back to the zone. And then we got all these under here as well. It's giving me loads of XP. Absolute racks. I could use a potion to uh, get them all. And uh, as you will notice from previous, these zombies come with gold armor, chain mail, and stuff. So you can actually whack up your whack at the XP and you get a load of uh, armor to go with it and stuff and drops and your carrots and potatoes so it's easy to get your carrots and potatoes so you can start crop growing on survival oh there we go oh I'm gonna die I'm not gonna die yet don't die now and lose my 44 XP so there you go oh potatoes and carrots and stuff so I hope you've uh, really enjoyed that and uh, uh, really enjoyed watching the video. Uh, hopefully you will have a go at making your own spider spawner. Case spawners, case spider spawners, probably the hardest uh, to do, but it's very well rewarding at the end once you've got the spawner working and these spiders are coming through because they give you a lot of XP. Let's see, get them around, and it goes long. So you can, they just automatically fill up. When more spiders come up, they push the others as well. So that's absolutely wonderful. So there you go. There's a K Spider Spawner XP Spawner One, uh, and uh, what I'm going to look at is the there's a version two as well, which we're going to have a look at next. And also we've got to look at the normal spiders and how you make them into an XP Spawner as well. So hope you enjoyed that, and uh, thanks for watching.